And the sponsor of the controversial hate speech bill, Senator Sabi Abdullahi, on Sunday bowed to pressure from Nigerians as he declared that he would remove death penalty as a maximum punishment for offenders in the proposed legislation. Now, media consultant, political and public affairs analyst Otumba Olabode Oseni joins me now to discuss this. Um, many thanks to you, Olabode Oseni, for joining us on this hour. What do you make of this uh, recent statement by Senator Abdullahi that he, um, the, the idea of the death penalty would be amended on the hate speech bill? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, Senator Abdullahi Mohammed is one of the uh, Lisi senators in the Nigerian le le legislation. I say that with all full authority because here we have situations when uh, problems relating to smuggling, looters, uh, armed robbery, kidnapping uh, are so rampant uh, the order of the day. And I cannot see why legislation uh, against uh, free speech or hate speech should be the priority of legislators in Nigeria. It shows how clearly they are so indifferent, they don't care. If they do care, the, 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 the problems that are facing Nigerians are not hate speech. Freedom of speech, only where the whole world are regulated, is not necessarily regulated. This is part of the fourth realm of the estate. And you don't start saying, you cannot say this. There are laws, there are regulations more than enough in the Nigerian constitutions. So, wasting time, reading bills, stage one, stage two, say if you do this, you're going to get this. I think it shows how lazy, how so indifferent they are to Nigerian problems. Um, but isn't there any part of that, of that bill that is relevant? Because I know some parts of it, which is I think part two, talks about um, ethnicity, et ethnic um, victimization and ethnic and ra racial victimization. There's a part of it, part three talks about um, the National Hate Speech Commission. There is a part that talks about complaints and investigations. So isn't there any part of that bill that is relevant that can be used? Well, you can say that. You can say some of them may be relevant, but the truth of the matter is, which of the laws are working in Nigeria? Which of the laws? Which of the law is supporting the people? And the, the, the idea that a government in, in place is to look after the welfare of the ordinary people. Are you talking of millions of people who are, who are yet to have today's meal? Are you talking of millions of people who are unemployed? What kind of, what kind of, what kind of uh, uh, legislation uh, are we talking about? Le legislation that's not protecting the, the rights of the ordinary people. How many people are writing in the, uh, in the national newspapers? How many people are using this uh, hate speech to kill one another? Then compare that to the number of people that are being kidnapped every day, arm robbery, and now the, the worst of it all, the large number, the few numbers of Nigeria who are stealing billions of the, of the people's money, and they're getting away for free, and they're even getting a national award. So please, tell me, tell me something that Nigeria want to hear, it is not hate speech. That is not their priorities. That's not exactly what their major problems are. Okay, he also argues, um, Senator Abdullahi also argues that um, hate speech has been largely responsible for depression and suicide in the country. I want you to speak to, to, um, to that issue. Well, if um, uh, Senator Abdullahi say uh, hate, uh, hate, uh, hate, um, hate speech is responsible for suicide, I think he's not looking at the causes and uh, cause and causes of uh, 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 suicide and uh, people killing themselves. The major problem is the the amount of frustration, the amount of want, the amount of not having this, not getting that, the amount of problems facing them. This is not his speech. You don't don't want to say that somebody say because uh, oh you're unemployed and is going to kill himself. The frustration facing millions of our people is what the legislators of Nigeria should be looking at. Not, I mean, like I said, I want to see how many people have taken their uh, breakfast that are preparing to have lunch and dinner today in Nigeria. Maybe less than 4%. So what are we talking about? So the legislators should, they, they are not talking about their salaries. Isn't that, I, I think she should also include that people earning so much money, humongous amount of money, that can be used for some other things should also be included in this. That's also hate speech, probably. Right. 
I'm afraid um, we'll have to leave it there. Many thanks to you, um, Otumba Olabode Oseni, for your time.